Now there are some 1997 Roosevelt dimes out there that are worth money. We'll show you which coins are actually valuable in this video. So don't forget to go check out the live streams every single Sunday. Press the bell on my channel. It will notify you guys when I go live. And we're going to be doing free coin giveaways. So you guys have a chance of winning some free coins. So feel free to come every single Sunday. Press the bell. It will notify you when I'm live. Because I might go different times on different Sundays. So if you press that bell you'll always be able to come to the live stream. All right, so let's just hop right into it. Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now, first, let's start off with the difference between these two dimes here. Now, here on the left is a 1997. We see the P mint mark. So this is the regular business strike coin. Typically, the dimes that you're going to be, you know, finding in your pocket change every day, the regular business strike coin. Now, here on the right is going to be the 1997 S mint mark, proof dime. So proofs, of course, are not intended for circulation. Of course, you can always find proofs in circulation, uh, but it's not as easy uh, as it seems. But definitely, you could come across proof coins and coin rolls from the bank or in, in circulation. I certainly have, but that's the difference. You got a really detailed, shiny, mirror-like finish on the proof. Regular business strike looks like the regular coins that you always see in your pocket change. And let's move on now that we know the difference there. Now here is a 1997 dime. However, this coin has a coreless clad planchet. So the coin is going to weigh a lot less than the typical dime. So you can, uh, you know, get you a coin scale from couchcollectibles.com and always weigh them. Uh, this coin sold for over $700. $700 in that condition because of that mint error. Now, here's an example of a 1997D. It's got a very high grade, very good condition. But in this case, high grade doesn't always mean valuable for something like this. Now, this coin only sold for around $11. So $10 coin. We see that there here with the 1997P mint mark, graded at a mint state 67, only sold for around $20. So nothing too crazy. Uh, if we look at the high graded versions, higher graded versions of that coin, Mint State 68, this 1997D sold for around $115. So it's really the top, top of the line grades for this specific year of, of the Roosevelt dime that's going to give it some value. Same thing with the P Mint Mark, Mint State 68. This coin sold for around $200. So really Mint State 68 and higher, a Mint State 70 is a perfect grade. But now that we know about the business strikes, we looked at the proof coin earlier. Here's the two different proof coins uh, that they produced for the 1997 Roosevelt dime. Uh, it's very important because one is not silver and one is silver. So here's the 1997 S Mint Mark and it's graded at a perfect grade, a proof 70. And this coin sold for around $100. Now, if we look at the 1997S proof coin here, we see on the coin slab that it says silver. So this is the silver version. There's gonna be silver and non-silver. This coin here sold for around $160. So always keep that in mind. If you happen to do come across proof coins, there could be silver and non-silver versions for different years. Now, let's check out some other Roosevelt dimes that are worth money. This is an error coin here. It's the 1996P mint mark that has been broad struck and it also has an obverse brockage. So we can see that there in the image displayed. Very noticeable. You can look for stuff like this in your pocket change without a coin microscope or anything like that. It's very visible. You'd be able to see it. But because of this error, this dime here sold for over $70. Next up is a high graded version of the 1996 Denver minted Roosevelt dime. This is the D mint mark and it's graded at a mint state 69. Now this coin here sold for over $495, nearly a $500 dime. Now if we get these high graded coins out of the way real quick, this is a 1996 P mint mark that has the grade mint state 68. So it does have that high grade again, and because of that, this coin sold for over $160. But let's move on to another type of error coin. This is awesome. These are the ones that are really like the 1996 double denomination. That was a penny being struck on a Roosevelt dime. So we can see Lincoln's head there on one side with the reverse of the dime. And then here on the other side, you could see Roosevelt's head with the reverse of the penny. 
So always be on the lookout for those in your pocket change. I guarantee you so many people pass stuff up like this just because they don't pay attention. Now this coin here sold for over $770. Moving on, now this one would be very noticeable in pocket change. Uh, someone would definitely get this out very quickly. This is a 1996 P Roosevelt dime that has been struck off center on a curved clipped planchet. So we can obviously see that there in the image displayed and the error pretty much speaks for itself. This coin here sold for a little over $100. Next up is a 1996 dime that has the obverse split die. So we can see that there in this image here, it's creating a cud there on the dime. Now this coin here sold for over $160. Not sure if you guys knew about this, but I have found one of these in circulation. If we zoom in here on this dime, you can see that this is a 1996 W mint mark dime. So that means that this was produced at the West Point Mint. Now they only made 1.4 million of these dimes with the W on them. So it's very important that you always look for that W mint mark on the 1996 dime. Here is one that sold for a little over $10, so nothing really valuable. But if we look at this one here, this is a 1996 W West Point minted Roosevelt dime that has the high grade of a mint state 68, and this coin sold for a little over $300. Now here is one on eBay that had a bid for over $255 and you can see that it is graded at a Mint State 68 as well and that is the 1996 W dime. Here is a dime that was double struck and struck off center and it seems to also be struck on a 1995 10 cent coin, so a 1995 dime. Now this coin here sold for over $2,000, $2,000. Moving on to a 1996 S proof. Now this is graded at a proof 70, so it's a perfect grade. And because of that, this coin sold for over $370. Now next up here is a coin that you might want to be on the lookout for in your pocket change. Now someone may think this is just a penny. Uh, not paying attention or actually, you know, looking at your coin because it's about the size of one. It's a 1999D that has been broad struck on a one cent planchet. So it has been broad struck on a penny, essentially. Uh, the dime struck on a penny. So that's why it's got that coloration to it. Now, this coin here sold for over $14,000. $14,000, could you imagine finding that in your pocket change or in a coin roll from the bank? That would be amazing. Next up, I love this coin as well. This is a 1999D Roosevelt dime. Always be on the lookout for this coin in your pocket change as well. It's got a brockage error taking place. You see the design of Roosevelt is backwards on one side and then we see that it looks pretty normal there on the other side. So we have no reverse to this coin. Now, this coin here sold for over $1,400. Next up is just a very high graded version of the 1999 Denver minted Roosevelt dime, graded at a mint state 69. Now this coin here sold for over $1,600, a $1,600 coin. Next up is another broad struck coin on a one cent planchet. This is a 1999D, similar to uh, the other dime that we looked at but this coin here sold for over $6,400. Man would love to find that coin. Now here is another high graded version. This is the 1999P mint mark, Philadelphia minted, graded at a mint state 68. So this coin here, because of that high grade, sold for a little over $25. So nothing too crazy there. Now we do have two different proof coins for the 1999 uh, Roosevelt dime. So we have the 1999S, this one here is the non-silver version, so the clad proof coin here. And because of the high grade of a proof 70, actually a perfect grade, this coin here sold for over $400. Now if we move on to the silver version, this is the 1999S silver proof, graded at a proof 70, so again a perfect grade, and this proof coin sold for over $690. 
All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.